All right, we are about to start Amboli Ghat now. And what better time to start this review of the Kawasaki vs. 650. I'm Ogi F. Welcome to the channel. Now, I've been riding this motorcycle for more than 500 or probably 600 kilometers or so here um, from Mumbai to Goa and now on the way back to Mumbai. What better time to review this motorcycle than through a twisty section like this where it probably isn't right at home but it certainly won't disappoint you. Now the Versus is uh, marketed more as an adventure touring motorcycle um, probably also as a sports tourer, most people see it, but uh, with the suspension travel that it has and the ergonomics that it boasts of as well, it's been used really well even in off-road situations. So this motorcycle can do a lot of things and I figured that out on this trip itself. Now, I had the motorcycle for a week, almost at the start of the year, maybe a couple of weeks, I can't really remember. Never really got to test out its full potential never really figured out how much of a beast this bike actually is. That 650 twin engine which Kawasaki has used on this, on the Ninja 650 and on the Vulcan 650 is just brilliant. Um, I've had a chance to ride the Versus and the Ninja. Unfortunately, I've not had the chance to ride the Vulcan just yet. Again, that's not really my type of motorcycle, but hate to each his own. I was uh, doing speeds of around 130 or so and it felt like I was doing 80. It felt that easy on the engine. It doesn't really get stressed out as much. It doesn't start to rattle as much as some of the other motorcycles in this category would. And it just keeps going and going and going. And um, I'm not ashamed to say this, but I don't have the riding skill to exploit the full potential of this 650 twin engine. I've heard people have taken it to um, 200 kilometers an hour, 220 also. I've not been able to push it that much and I think I'm glad that I have not. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful twin engine. Moving on to the ergonomics now. And I think that's where this motorcycle really starts to stand out. I don't think I've ever had a chance to ride a motorcycle more comfortable than this. And I've had a chance to ride the V-Storm as well, which to me was the pinnacle of uh, comfort. But this has just moved it up a notch. And um, I think for me personally, the placement of the foot pegs is spot on. If you want to relax and ride, you can just put your whole foot on the foot pegs and it almost feels like you're sitting in a chair. If you want to really get into an aggressive seating position and kind of twist around on these twisties, and then you can just put the ball of your foot on the foot pegs and uh, enjoy yourself and lean a little forward. The handlebars too on this motorcycle are nice and wide, so whenever you want to use counter steering and just dip the motorcycle into a corner, it's very, very easy to get that leverage because of how wide the handlebars are. Pillion comfort next, let's talk about that. Um, Ankit had a chance to sit behind the motorcycle for a bit while we were riding around uh, through India Bike Week and he was really amazed by how comfortable and how wide that seat is. Um, of course, he never had a chance to sit on it for a really long ride, but by his uh, guess, it should be really comfortable for a pillion to ride for an extended period of time. Of course, if you do feel uncomfortable, there's always the ride on air seat that you can pop on back there and really get comfortable. Um, wind glass, and that's, I think, probably the one thing that this motorcycle really boasts of. Um, I was telling the guys the other day that this is probably my most comfortable ride to Goa from Mumbai because uh, there's been probably uh, little to no wind blast the entire time and I've not really got that tired over the period of riding those 500 odd kilometers from Mumbai to Goa and uh, to top it off the motorcycle seat was comfortable too so the ergonomics, the seat, the wind blast, all of that put together made for a really really comfortable ride and this is something you'd have to experience yourself to be able to understand how really comfortable this motorcycle is. Uh, the stock seat in itself is nice and wide and plush as well. So there's uh, 
little to no discomfort over extended periods of riding and the amount of breaks that I had to take to kind of stretch and whatnot was very little. One thing that I really liked about this motorcycle and this is not something I usually talk about in my reviews but it's the fact that you can mount luggage very easily and whether it's soft luggage and I believe you get hard luggage as well there's panniers available for this motorcycle from different brands and from Kawasaki also um, it makes it very easy to put on and take off luggage from the motorcycle taking off the seat isn't that hard putting it back on is even easier so yeah they've done a really good job with giving you multiple places where you can mount luggage on the motorcycle and I think that's one of the main things that makes this motorcycle such a good seller in the Indian market. Let's talk about the suspension, which is another piece de resistance of this motorcycle. The front suspension is adjustable, both preload and rebound. The rear suspension is preload adjustable, I believe. But uh, what's great about the rear suspension is that it's uh, remotely adjustable, so you don't have to take out a set of tools and whatnot to be able to adjust that to your comfort levels. You just need to turn that knob at the back there and you can either harden or soften the rear suspension for yourself. Again, depending on your weight, your riding style and the terrain you're riding on, make sure that you make those adjustments to really, really dial in the experience of this motorcycle and enjoy the ride. Now, next up we have the brakes and you realize how good the brakes are because Anzen Kawasaki put a new set of brake pads for me and uh, they changed the clutch cable and a few other things also. And uh, in spite of them being brand new brake pads, these really worked brilliantly throughout the ride. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that it's as good as the GSX S 750's brake, which for me was the benchmark up until this point. ABS comes as standard on this motorcycle, and uh, I think it was the first 650 from Kawasaki to get ABS here in India, and that was one of the main reasons why some people prefer it over the outgoing Ninja 650 too. Same engine, same hardware, unfortunately never came with ABS that one. And again, the ABS isn't intrusive, in fact, even while we were doing off-road riding, hey man, take my picture too, um, even while we were off-roading a bit, it um, never really kicked in when I started to hit the brakes, only intervened just when I really needed it. Alright, we're stopping for breakfast and we will continue this review in a bit. Got quite an audience here after getting our motorcycles to the top of Amboli Ghat, done with breakfast and now we are heading to Nepani. Yep, done with breakfast and back on the road. Let's continue with the review. Now let's talk about the instrument console next. It's got a pretty large font when it comes to the actual speed being shared over there and what I really like is that the gear indicator also comes with a almost equally large font which you can use too. Um, the rest of the information like the clock, the uh, range and so on and so forth is written in a relatively smaller font but uh, again it's not information that you can't read even while riding at night and even when we were riding in the afternoon when it was really really hot and the sun was pretty much above and at one point behind us uh, the information on that screen was very easy to read so yeah that really makes riding this motorcycle a lot more fun knowing that you have the information available now it's not the most modern instrument console you'll find on a motorcycle, especially not on an adventure tourer or a sports tourer, but uh, it does the job and I think that's what really makes the Versus a good bike. It does the job. What I also like is that it comes with a 12 volt socket where you can put a car charger in and um, have power delivered to your devices, GoPros, mobile phones, so on and so forth. You can keep them all charged as you tour. And a stock 12 volt charger is a really handy tool to have when you're traveling on the road. Alright, next up let's talk about the tires. The tires on this one are Pirelli MT60 tires, which are kind of dual sport tires. Um, it has a pretty good amount of grip on uh, both the road and a bit of off-roading as well. Though the motorcycle itself makes up for some of the issues you might have with bad tires. So the suspension, the frame and everything works really well with the tires and if you manage to tweak your suspension well enough 
I think we'll be able to handle these tires really really well even on a bit of twisties yeah next up let's talk about the headlights now the headlights in this considering it's a sports tourer or a adventure touring motorcycle the headlights aren't that great and I noticed that when we were riding through Amboli Ghat um, just when it became evening and just when the sun set uh, the lights on this weren't that great uh, in fact I had to ask Brian and some of the other guys to overtake me and lead the pack to be able to figure out where the road actually was and I'm not saying that they are really really horrible but they could be a lot better for a motorcycle like this and uh, now that I come to think of it I understand why there's so many people that put auxiliary and fog lights on their Versus 650s it all starts to make sense finally let's talk about the mirrors now the mirrors on this are well placed again they are on the handlebar but there's a lot of information you can still see uh, directly behind you the visibility to what's besides you isn't that great and that's why I'd recommend using uh, blind spot mirrors but I usually recommend using blind spot mirrors on any motorcycle that you buy uh, there's no harm in knowing more about what's behind or besides you so yeah uh, but again I'm really happy with the mirrors even though I've not had the blind spot mirrors on my motorcycle to India bike week I've not really felt as if I've had a desperate need for it because I can just lean in front and look at the side but um, yeah it's always good to have that mirrors good job wow I had the left indicator on that entire time anyway another thing worth mentioning is uh, that the levers both the brake and the clutch lever are both adjustable so you can tweak them based on your preference based on your hand or finger size and also based on how much wear you have on uh, your brakes and in your clutch lever now I try my best to give you as much information as possible about a motorcycle you're thinking of buying uh, to give you a holistic view of what you should be thinking about when purchasing the motorcycle so apart from all the information around the performance and hardware that I've shared uh, here's information around the servicing cost you can expect from this motorcycle if you do own it so uh, spare parts which you might be changing frequently on this motorcycle are up on the screen now along with their costs and possible intervals when you should be changing them again this all depends on how you ride the motorcycle and how you maintain it so please keep that in mind take it with a pinch of salt finally a big thank you to Anzin Kawasaki in Mumbai for sorting out the Versus 650 for me and um, giving it to me for the ride in such a brilliant condition I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel and for supporting motor bloggers in general from Mumbai for so long you guys are awesome thank you so much and that's it that's pretty much all I had for today thank you again so much for watching the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did not share some feedback as always at least wear your helmets while riding your motorcycles and ride safe it's a freaking jungle out there good bye Pass with a great bag, came up, you can't hate that. Self-made, you can't take that. Yeah, self-made, you can't make that. Some said I need a record deal, I need a co-sign, I need a Dre track. But all the time I had a mean flow, I had a cold grind, and that's a great match. Payback, codes, and I make racks. In my pockets gon' stay fat, cause I murk beats and I slay.